On a distant planet, in a small cottage, lived two friends, the ever-sniffing Snot and his hairy buddy, Fluff. Snot dreamt of distant journeys and spent long hours browsing space maps and travel books. Fluff's hobby was baking cookies. He kept testing new recipes and the oven in the little cottage was hot all day long. Snot was all into distant space journeys and not impressed by Fluff's cookies. I wonder what they eat on other planets, he said. Tomorrow I will seek the advice of the sleepy sages. Maybe they will tell me how to experience a space adventure, he decided. Fluff was so busy planning his next baking experiments that he did not seem to be listening to his friend. Early in the morning, Snot set out on his mount to the mountains to visit the sleepy sages. They told him that if you want to travel far, grab a lasso and catch a comet, a superstar. thought that catching a comet with a lasso is so difficult, huffed Snot. He was so excited that he forgot to leave a note for Fluff to inform his friend of the journey. He only remembered when he was sitting on the comet, galloping towards the clouds. Meanwhile, in their little cottage, after a good night's sleep, Fluff started the new day preparing breakfast. Fluff looked out of the window and saw Snot departing on his comet. He was so shocked that he dropped the tray with cookies. But how come? Where is he going? Without breakfast? Without Without me? Thoughts kept racing through his head and tears soon gushed from his eyes. Sitting on the comet, Snot was traveling through the galaxy. At last, his dream was coming true. Space adventure, here I come. Lonely, Fluff could not recover after losing his friend. He neglected his duties and kept devouring cookies. Piles of dirty dishes stood all around the house. Finally, Fluff decided to tidy the cottage. This is when he came across Snot's guide to galactic spaceships. Maybe I could build a space rocket and find Snot, wondered Fluff. Fluff quickly got down to building the rocket. He was not sure how to connect the parts, so he used sticky custard to glue them together. Although he had never done it before, he decided to stick to it. <coughs> Meanwhile, Snot discovered an unknown planet. The comet started to descend and Snot saw the beautiful blue surface of a water planet with one tiny island in the middle. Both he and the comet were tired after a long flight, so Snot commanded, Touchdown! However, the tiny island turned out to be the Pirate's Bay. Fortunately, the inhabitants were so hospitable that they greeted Snot as if he were a major captain. With great relief, Snot jumped into the tub and ordered a shark cocktail. In the meantime, 
Fluff was testing his rocket. The cream-powered engine he had designed was doing fine. Before he started on his journey, he hugged his cat. Watch the house, kitty, so that nobody steals cookies from the pantry, he asked. Although the cat seemed to have a different plan. Fluff poured top-quality cream into the tank. Fluff started the engine and the rocket launched with a huge force. After a while, the cottage and the whole planet disappeared into the distance. The search for snot started. Meanwhile, the leader of the pirates, Lolo the fisherman, asked Snot for help. Some time ago, I lost an important key. Please use our baby scaff and help me find it. If you manage, you'll receive an ample reward. Snot did not hesitate. Of course I will help you. Besides, I've never been so deep underwater, he replied. Snot started the search for the key in the sea. Underwater, there were many colorful creatures. Snot regretted that Fluff was not there to see them. Suddenly, the cream fuel gauge in Fluff's rocket showed zero. The cream was running low in the tank, and on the Milky Way, only milk and sour milk could be found. Cat! We need to land! Emergency! shouted Fluff. As if on cue, a cloud appeared in their way. Every now and then, a lightning bolt struck it frantically. There must be a planet underneath. Fluff landed safely on an electric planet hidden in the clouds. One of the inhabitants, who introduced himself as Mr. Nosy, offered Fluff help. After a while, both of them were sitting in electric... Fluff landed safely on an electric planet hidden in the clouds. One of the inhabitants, who introduced himself as Mr. Nosy, offered Fluff help. After a while, both of them were sitting in electric cabs and heading for a place where Fluff could get new rocket fuel. Snot managed to find the key and the pirates gave him two presents in return. A magical stick and a dog seal. Do you eat desserts on your planet? asked Snot, devouring the pirate supper. Of course we do. We're having delicious sticks with sea salt for dessert, replied the pirates. Snot suddenly became very sad. He remembered the sweet cookies baked by his friend. When the party was over, Snot said goodnight and went for a walk around the island. At night, Snot reached the most beautiful hill he had ever seen. The night is light, thanks to the big furry moon hanging above the island. Snot remembered the magical stick. He tapped it gently on the ground and the moon woke up. Fluff and Mr. Nosy took a long flight inside the planet. Finally, they reached the electric cave. We're almost there. Mr. Nosy assured him. Somewhere inside there is a tap. There you can pour some fuel for your rocket. He warned Fluff that the tap was guarded by an electric dog, which must be fed before you turn the tap. He also advised Fluff to light a candle if the whisker snake gets mad. Fluff carefully wrote everything down on the back of his map, just in case. Fluff climbed the steps and saw a large blue jar under the tap. On the left side of the tap, the anxious electric dog kept staring at the intruder. And on the right, there was the whisker snake, bristling up his whiskers.
Meanwhile, Snot was totally involved in the story the moon was telling him about a collection of treasures found in distant places in space. The moon kept all the treasures inside, but his favorite ones were CDs with music. He told Snot that he used to attend a music school on the bare planet, and he borrowed the pipe organ, which he later mislaid. Now he was ashamed to go back without it. I will gladly help you find the lost instrument. I've never been to the moon, let alone inside, replied Snot with a laugh. And in the next moment, the moon swallowed him. It is rather messy on the moon's tongue, observed Snot. He noticed it was exactly like Fluff's kitchen. Nevertheless, he started looking for the lost pipe organ. Fluff filled the tanks with the new electric fuel and before he set out he asked Mr. Nosy Maybe I could offer you a lift in exchange for what you did for me Mr. Nosy beamed and asked Fluff to take him to a planet called Herbaland Fluff is happy Although he has his cat, he started to feel lonely. He took his guest and the cat inside the rocket and they set out towards Herbaland.